How Mercedes-Benz's investment plan aligns with its fully electric lineup goals. Why your next ride with Waymo might not be free. And a glimpse of the Audi e-tron's makeover. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first. So, Redwood Materials, our goal is to develop a fully closed loop domestic supply chain for lithium ion batteries. And to do that, first, we collect and recycle old batteries from consumer electronics, from electric vehicles, from energy storage systems on the grid. Then we refine those materials, you know, purifying them, separating the, the critical metals from each other into a form that can be used again. And finally, the third step is we remanufacture those same materials back into battery components, into battery materials that can be used again by domestic battery manufacturing. That's Redwood Materials CEO J.B. Straubel. His company has plans to build a new EV battery materials plant in South Carolina. The company will invest $3.5 billion to help fund the project. Redwood Materials also says the factory near Charleston will recycle and remanufacture lithium, cobalt, nickel, and other battery materials and create about 1,500 jobs. This plant will be Redwood's second major facility, and it says between all of its facilities, it aims to produce enough anode and cathode to equip 5 million EVs annually by 2030. There has been a leadership change in VW's quality and design divisions. The automaker has appointed Michael Newmayer to oversee VW Group's quality management division. Newmayer intends to speed up decision making and improve coordination between the VW, Audi and Porsche brands while retaining his position as Audi's head of quality. He will replace Frank Welsh as VW Group's quality chief. Welsh is retiring after nearly 30 years of service with VW. New mayor is scheduled to start January 1st. Also on January 1st, Michael Maurer will become the new VW Group design chief while also retaining the same role at Porsche. Mercedes-Benz is planning to invest more than a billion dollars to adopt its global production network for electric powertrain systems. This includes battery assembly electric drive units and axles from 2024. The automaker says it plans to have its plants in Germany as well as Beijing assemble batteries for models on the upcoming MMA and MBEA platforms. It also says its plants in Beijing and Romania will build electric drive units for cars on the new platforms. But as Mercedes-Benz works towards having all electric sales by 2030, it still plans to make parts for combustion engine cars until there is no longer a demand. Your next ride with Waymo might soon cost you. This is because Waymo says it has applied for the final permit it needs in California to be able to sell fully autonomous rides. Right now, GM's Cruise is the only robo-taxi company allowed to charge for driverless rides in San Francisco. It could take the California Public Utilities Commission months to approve Waymo's application. A software engineer at Waymo says, overall, the company has exceeded on goals this year related to driving behavior. The Audi e-tron is in for a major makeover. Audi says the EV is getting a new name, a new look, and substantial improvements to address what was considered the EV's major drawback when it launched in 2018 as Volkswagen Group's first modern electric vehicle. Now called the Q8 e-tron, the vehicle will come in both a crossover and sportback version. Audi did not release an expected range under EPA testing, but it would roughly translate to as much as 330 miles. The plant-level Audi executives say the range improvements come from a combination of new battery chemistry and gains in aerodynamics and engineering. The EV is scheduled to head to dealerships in the U.S. in mid-2023. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.